She's a journalist by profession and a podcaster as well. That's why I said most of the times are coincide. Mm -hmm. Mumboy, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Mwikali. Yeah. I'm so humbled to be here. <laughs> We've you? met again. Yes, we have. Yes, oh we my have. god, it was you. It was me. <gasps> oh yeah. Yes. We met Out outside here. here and then I, I cried. I literally <laughs> cried. <laughs> I oh my god. Oh my god. You had me so confused, one boy. Let me tell you. Yes. It was such a confusing moment and I, I think I, I've spoken I, about it. I've spoken I about know. it to different people mm -hmm. how I did not know what to do. I, I, I was so <laughs> I was so, you know, as in meeting someone for the first time that you've been seeing on TV. I know I'm a journalist, but then again when you see someone on TV, I was like I well, I was I was so speechless that day. Oh. And then you were like, "Please don't cry." Yeah, I can't tell you. I don't I don't know how <laughs> yeah, I don't know what please to do. don't cry. And but then you like, were just there, you couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. Like, I was so happy. I was caught in the moment and I was like, oh my but God. But you're better now. At least you're not doing that on TV. <laughs> I'm so, trying. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'm no, holding. I'm no, still holding no, ideas. No, But no. yeah, I'm okay now. Okay, great. Yeah. It is good to reconnect. You know, I kept looking at you and I was wondering, do I know you from somewhere? But then you know th that you meet so many people on this seat. Uh, yeah, but I'm true. happy you reminded me. Thank you so much for having me. Great. And it was a good time seeing you that day and I'm seeing you now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get to the topic today. Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. You do a couple of things. Maybe we can start from there. Maybe we can start with your podcast. Yeah. Um, what is it about? How long has it been on air? Mm -hmm. What is it that it focuses on? So, my name is Omboi Chege. Yes. I am... I am a journalist and a podcaster. Yes. My podcast is called Hideout Podcast. Hideout? Yes, Hideout Podcast. Okay. So Hideout Podcast because um, it was called before, uh, it was called uh, Grace. It was called uh, Grace before. Uh -huh. Then I came to realize that uh, no Grace, like what does even Grace mean, you know? Yes. As in Grace, is a, it, it's, a good, it's a good word. Yes, it but is. But then again, I wanted something deeper that will connect with more people. Mm. So one day I was just sitting around at the house and then I came to listen to this song. This song was playing, it's called Hideout by Mahalia. Okay. So she's like trying to tell, the, she's like telling the boyfriend that I thought I was your hideout place. Oh. But then again, you never came to like talk to me about whatever was happening to you. So when I, I googled for the word podcast, it, I realized it means um, a safe space for someone to come and share maybe their thoughts or whatever they're experiencing. So I thought, mm, maybe this is a good name for my podcast. Like I just wanted my podcast to be a safe space for someone or people to come and share their experiences without feeling judged yes. or left out in the community. That is a beautiful space and has a powerful meaning uh, thank you. behind it. So yeah. it just... It, it assures you even before you get in, mm -hmm. if you understand where you're going and what you're going to do. Yes. Um, you focus a lot on mental health mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So is it, is it personal and why that particular, you know, so, issue in society? Okay, Mkali. So uh, mental health, you know, mental health is a very, it's a very huge topic. And so many people are undergoing so many things uh, yes. concerning mental health. Mm -hmm. You see so many, nowadays, anytime you open a TV or a radio, the first thing, the first story that you'll hear is about someone, maybe maybe a partner has murdered uh, the other yes. partner, you know. Yes. Like so many people are undergoing so many challenges and they can't maybe express it. They can't talk about it because, you know, someone coming and telling you that I have depression. Maybe the first thing you'll start asking is, uh, why do you have depression? Why can't you handle it? You know, mm -hmm. like so many people need to be, uh, they can just feel like mental health is a, is a topic that people should be made aware of. Mm -hmm. Like spreading their awareness about mental health is so important. Yes. So I feel like a podcast is a very good space for someone to come and maybe talk about these things because, you know, a podcast is supposed to be a nonchalant place, mm. like uh, a fun place, you mm. know, like somewhere where people can just be informed and mm. maybe told, uh, they're just told that, you know, maybe when you do this and this, maybe if you handle things this way, yes. maybe that might help. So I decided like maybe to use my podcast to let people know that so many people experience these things. Maybe it's imposter syndrome, you know, so many people undergo imposter syndrome yes. because... Uh, Personally, I, 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 under, I, I, I did undergo that. I was so insecure, maybe, you know. I was, I was good at acting back then in the days, but then again, maybe I had this insecurity. Maybe I, I felt like I wasn't good enough, yeah. or maybe I wasn't beautiful enough. You know, just trying to fit in was so, was so hard for me. Yeah. 
But then again, I realized that anytime someone will tell me, but you, you know, you really act so well. I was like, no, <laughs> not really. Someone will tell me, maybe you, you'll be a good journalist someday. Then I'm like, yes. I can't stand on TV. You know, I can't stand uh, in front of a camera. Like, I can't do that. If it's radio, that is okay. Yeah. But if it's camera, then no, that, 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 that is not me. But so you're I felt here like now. So I'm I'm trying, you know, like <laughs> I can't be telling job. people to <laughs> thank you, Mikali. Yeah. Like I can't be telling people like to to accept themselves the way they are, and then behind the cameras, like I'm not I'm not telling people like I'm not doing what I'm telling people mm. to do. So I decided like let me just be at the front line and maybe let me be an example. Like yes. anytime I'm telling people that you should be proud of who you are. Like am I really proud of myself? So I wanted to be my first example, maybe to let people follow the lead. That is such a beautiful space and row and Thank open you. place to start from. Mm -hmm. Because when you say that you used to have mm -hmm. imposter syndrome, I was just like, that sounds like me. But then I wouldn't <laughs> say I used to. It's, yeah. it's, it's there. Maybe the dosage is kidogo mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. There are things I couldn't handle back in the day. Now I'm handling. Mm -hmm. But then it's, there's always that kasauti. Mm -hmm. But if you were listening to all the conversations we've had, we've yeah. had here today, yeah. they sort of empower you to step into your light. Yeah. Because that's where you were built to be. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful space that you're there it's now. A, it's a very beautiful space because, you know, accepting yourself, you know, there, there are just some things you can't change, you know? Yes. So like the minute you start accepting, like I have these flaws mm -hmm. and there is nothing I can do about about yes. it, you know? Yeah. Because there is this song, it's called uh, Scars to Your Beautiful. I once I did an episode it. about that song. I, I know. So that is a very beautiful. How did you handle it? How did you have one? You know, I have this, uh, I, I don't know, should I say it or come <laughs> at him? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. In Kikuyu, we call it home, you know? I like, know home, uh, like, home, home. Yes, home. Yes, yes. So I was like, anytime I would talk, I was like, I would use my hand. I still do that, but not as often as I used to, you know? Okay, okay. So I used to have like this uh, insecurity, like anytime I would talk, I'm like, these people are just looking at my teeth <laughs> because it's not straight, you know? But then I came to, reali to realize that sometimes, like, these insecurities that you have, it's all in your head. Like, That's people are not even noticing that you yes. have any flaw. Like, they're just maybe listening to you. They're just looking at you like, oh, she can't talk in front of people, mm. you know? And then I'm there, like, when anytime, like, someone looks at me, I'm like, Kai, they're just concentrating on my teeth, you know? Like, I realized that um, there's some things you can't change. And accepting that you have flaws, like, nobody, nobody's perfect, you know? So many people have flaws. Like I was listening to this podcast sometime and she was saying um, she was a very good swimmer. She was yes. a, a, a very good swimmer. Uh -huh. But then again, she stopped swimming because she had marks. Like she had scars, I think, on her knees. So she couldn't wear like the, you know, the swimming bikinis costume, the, swimming the bikinis. Costumes, yes. Yeah. Imagine she stopped like she literally stopped and she was always the one winning like anytime they would go like to a, to competition. Do a, a competition like she would win. But y because she was so insecure about her scars and she had this uh, mentality that people are just looking at it and, you know, like yeah. she was so good at it, but she just stopped because uh, of her insecurities. So, like, people need to be reminded that um, sometimes, like, you just have to, because uh, you don't have to let your mind bully your body. Like, you just have to be you. Just be you. Let, uh, like, just do you because you are all beautiful. And the minute you're beautiful inside, I mean, like, it like who the says on the outside? Yeah, it just who comes says out. on the outside? Like, yeah, it just comes out. Like, uh, the minute you're beautiful on the inside, like, it will just come out naturally. So you really it don't have to, like, force it so much. It's been a journey for you to be here, like, yes, to do has. this, mm -hmm. to do this and be able to accept yourself and who you are. Mm -hmm be unapologetic, unapologetically yourself. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things for the young ones who are watching? And I like that you're very young, way younger than I am. Mm -hmm. You'll be like my little sister, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Chini <laughs> Sana. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, being able to embrace who you are and, mm -hmm. and you know, um, remove yourself from the place where you're listening to all these voices from mm -hmm. society and from mm -hmm. peers and mm -hmm. from classmates who are telling you this, the definition of beauty is this, mm -hmm. the definition of sujuni mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you've had to do to, you know, fortify yourself and to grow a toughness of the mind? So, uh, starting a podcast. Okay. Like, that was, that was just like uh, the start of everything, I guess. And accepting myself like the way I am. Like I just realized that one boy, this is you. You have so many good things about you. But every time you just sit down, you're just looking at the like like I would always let my, my bad outweigh the good. Yes. But then I realized that this is not the way to go. 
like you really need to change your your perspective your your, your mind you know everything about you like anytime i will talk people will tell me you know you you're you're a very great journalist and then i'm like <laughs> No, I can't talk. Like, if it's radio, okay. So I think people still think but that I do. But it's still It's the same it's still thing you journalism, you know? But then you're not looking at it that way. You yeah. have this notion in your mind mm -hmm. that journalism looks a certain way. Exactly. So so I was like, I was like, I can't stand in front of a camera. But then again, when I started doing podcasts, I was like, this is also part of journalism. Like, yes. I've always wanted to be a journalist yes. all my life. And here I am. Yes. I'm doing what I love. So, like, I just feel like... Uh, I've really done so many things like you know I, I I'm being called to 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 meetings you know I, I sometimes I'm getting called like to to speak in front of people and then I'm like I can do this you know and I'm here today like speaking in front of a camera yes. on TV then I'm like okay I'm I'm still doing this like and I'm really trying and yeah I got this so anyone who's listening and who's watching like I would just tell them that just be you do you whatever you love just do it wholeheartedly you really don't have mm. to listen to other people what they are mm. saying you know because mm. uh, you have a purpose and um, that is what god called you to do that is so, so true. just to do what your purpose to do and just live your life unapologetically <laughs> well, boy, i feel like we haven't even talked about podcasts <laughs> enough like I you, know. <laughs> you came in here and the conversation and the just conversation took a whole just, different <laughs> tangent i know and i i I am okay with it. You're okay but with it. But maybe, mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. does it take? <laughs> so because I've been told we have three minutes and I'm like, oh my minutes. God. Hey, that's time. Yeah. Okay. So like, uh, maybe w what it takes for you to start a podcast. Yes. Just your, 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 your creativity, you know. Mm -hmm. Like you really don't have to like maybe buy the, the, the expensive microphones, you know, or maybe those cameras because some people are doing podcasts also in a, in a video form, yes. the YouTube. So like you really don't have to go a long way for you to start a podcast. I started it with my phone. Like I just took my phone and, th and then I went to sound recording and that is how I started. So all it takes is courage, content, confidence, you know, just just to decide like, you know, the impossible journey is the one you've never begun. That is so true. So anytime you just decide like, I'm, I want to do this, like just start. So like just start something, take the risk, start something like that is the first place that you should start from. Oh my goodness. I feel like you're talking to me. <laughs> I'm <laughs> and glad I'm talking <laughs> to you. <laughs> and wisdom, mm -hmm. wisdom does not come, it's not unidirectional. Yes. I think wisdom comes from all corners, yeah. from everywhere. Mm -hmm. And how can people tune in or where can they find, is it on all, you know, podcast platforms? Mm -hmm. Maybe you can give us more details. Are you on social media? Yeah. Okay, so maybe you can find uh, my podcast, Hideout Podcast. It's everywhere. It's on Spotify, you know. It's on Google Podcast, Anchor FM, uh, Apple Apple Podcast. Like, it's everywhere. Just go to any podcast, any podcast platform, and you'll find my podcast there. So okay. Hideout Podcast, you'll find it there. And then on social media, you can find my podcast. It's called Hideout Podcast. Hideout underscore podcast. That is where you'll find Hideout Podcast. And mine personally, it's on boy, W-A underscore M-B-O-E-Y. At W A underscore M B O E Y. That is one boy, but now oh, I've twisted the name one boy. Okay. You lost me. I, I lost you there. <laughs> You're wondering which name is this now? <laughs> it's one boy, but now mine it's B O E Y. So okay, like, okay, yeah. one boy. Yes, okay. one boy. One boy with a swag. swag. <laughs> kind of swag. One boy, thank you yeah. so much for coming thank through. Thank you so much for having and me. And I know we were supposed to talk about podcasts, but then it took a whole different. Took a whole and different. I love it. You love it. I love it, it that no. we, we, we can be able to sit here and just be true to ourselves. Yeah. And that is, I think that is the fun part about journalism. Yes. Like just talking to someone and then you realize, come the maswalis, they have been turned. They've been turned. Come on, come prepare. There, I know. Come on, come prepare then. But then again, it was so beautiful. Thank you so much for thank, coming through. Thank you so much And for I still me. promise I will show up on your podcast. You will. I will. Aki, I you will. promised on national TV. I will, I, I have promised. I will hold you accountable. I have, I've said this before, yeah. away from TV, and I'm saying it now, that I will do it. I will do it. I will do I'm, it. I'm really waiting for okay. you. And I'll be so humble to have Great. you over on Hideout Podcast. Great. And thank you so much for having me here. No it has problem. been such an amazing time. Awesome. Awesome. We need to pay our bills. Mm -hmm. We will be right back after this very short commercial break. Thank you.